We are starting as a slaves. Let's start with creating character and their story. And by the way, I'm Maximal Freak and this is my story playthrough. So meet Freaker. Freaker is a young girl that used to live in a small nomad village in a Shen. But this wasn't the life she wanted to live. So Freaker decided to leave and wander around the world on her own. Luckily she wasn't alone because old Frit felt the same way. He have spent all his life in this village, but he always have dreamed of seeing leviathans and real skeletons. With his life experience and Freaker's bravery, they started wandering around the world as a caravan of traders. Unfortunately, soon after they arrived to Blister Hill to sell their goods, they were accused of heresy against Okran and got imprisoned in Rebirth slave camp. And this is where our story starts. On the first day they arrived, they didn't know what to do. So why not try to just take a look around? It turned out to be a bad idea as they got beaten up immediately. You either work or you are locked in a cage. You are not allowed to do anything else. And that's how Rebirth welcomes you. By now, they knew they had to run away as soon as possible. Even though she got beaten, instead of working, Freaker started training her lockpicking skills and helping others to make friends and allies in Rebirth. Every time she got caught, she got beaten hard, but she continued as she knew it was worth it. And even when they were locked in a cage, they continued to train by lockpicking cage locks. Then, in the midnight, Freaker sneaked out of her cage for the first time. Day 2. More training and sneaking around. Also, Fripp didn't just stand around, he tried to free himself, but the guards are fast and their swing with sword is even faster. In this moment, they knew they want to fight against people like Holy Nation and that they must set free as many slaves as they can, so they formed their own faction called... Cox. Then Fripp got an idea how to get out. If he dress himself as a guard, he might slip through the gate in disguise. Freaker's tactic was to sneak around guards during night time. Frip started to train assassination skill whenever he could and with little bit of sneak skill, this could be a way out for him. Success! Frip quickly switched the clothes and put guard in the cage. This way, he will no longer be threat for Frip and even will be enslaved now as deserved. Yet this attempt was a big failure and Fripp got totally beaten. But he survived and even got some experience. Then something terrible happened. Freaker was trying to sneak out of a building but got caught and this time she lost her leg. Unfortunately, without one leg the escape is much harder and for Freaker nearly impossible. Now her fate is in Fripp's hands. On the third day, early in the morning, Fripp tried to sneak around guards, yet even this try was not successful. Uh, during that night, Freaker freed our friend that tried to escape, but he got caught and beaten up. At least now Freaker and Fripp knew which way to leave Rebirth as crossing the bridge is probably the fastest and safest route. The rest of the third day was all about trading lockpicking, assassination and sneaking. And Fripp even found some food to give him a chance to make it far enough from Rebirth in case of runaway. Day 4. After many attempts, Fripp managed to knock out guard during sleep. As before, Fripp caged the guard, took his stuff and this time he waited a little longer so his disguise wouldn't be blown immediately. Yet he was discovered, beaten and thrown into the cage again. But he knows that even though he failed, he gained more experience and he didn't want to give up. He steals some more food and after few tries he managed to knock out guard again. One more time, he caged the guard, steal his clothes but Fripp didn't try to run away immediately as before, because there was sunlight outside and it would be too risky. 
Instead, Fib waited in a corner of the roof, knowing that leaving during the night gives him the best chance. In the midnight, Fripp tried to run away in disguise again. Third time the charm. As he was crossing the bridge, he almost could feel the taste of the freedom and then it happened. He walked through the group of five guards without single one of them noticing him. Finally, the air felt fresh and light and Fripp never felt better before. But there is still a long way for him to leave Holy Nation lands. He have almost got caught by a group of Holy Nation patrol. Then, he was really lucky when he almost entered Big Thing's nest, but not even a single one of them noticed him. And what is that over the horizon? A village? A village in the Wayne? He did it! He escaped! He was friendly welcomed by local hivers. Fripp have seen the hivers for the first time in his life, but after he seen them easily hunting down a herd of big things, he knew that he is safe now and he can get his deserved rest. But how can he sleep calmly, knowing that his friend is still being trapped in a revert? Fripp knows that soon he will have to return and face even bigger challenge than leaving the mine alone. So do you want to have part in this story? Write a comment on how you think the story should develop and where the characters should go or do. I will get some inspiration from that and maybe even your characters can have your name. And if you like this concept, please support me with like or even subscribe. It really helps me to create more content. Thank you and see you next time.